Hi, I'm Michael. Uh, never made an online video of myself before. Um, I'm, a, I'm a North Carolina native and lived here my whole life, well most of my life. I left for college and missed it and came back. Um, this is my house that I own that I live in. And uh, in August, I'm getting married to a wonderful woman that I met at church. Uh, I'm very excited about that. In May, though, I'm afraid that something may happen which might knock a little of the joy out of that, and uh, that's what I'm talking about here. Um, even though same-sex marriage is illegal in North Carolina already, uh, there's an amendment being passed, Amendment 1, or being proposed, that would actually, as I understand it, strip out any benefits that anybody has of sharing health insurance, hospital visitation rights, the rights to, um, to to bury the body and to have access to uh, to inherit a house from somebody that you've lived with for 20, 25 years just because it's a same-sex couple. Legal agreements that now aren't even called marriage but are, uh, are ways that people can live together and are just civil contracts. Um, I'm talking about this because I have a lot of of gay friends and a few gay relatives um, that are in same-sex relationships. And there seems to be some people out there who seem to see that as a threat to marriage, and I don't understand that because, or rather, I think people who think that don't actually know anybody who's in a same-sex relationship because the ones that I know just inspire me for what um, what marriage could be. They, they're not about disrupting anybody else's lives. They're about sort of earning a quiet living, having a dog, uh, going to church, just being living a quiet life of integrity and being who they are. Uh, it, that's what I want my marriage to be about. I hope it will be about that. Um, and... I think marriage is a sacred bond. Um, I don't think anybody, I, I don't think it's defined by the state of North Carolina. Um, I think who gets to marry whom is something that if your church doesn't believe that people of the same sex should be able to get married, there's no law that should ever be passed to force them to bless that union or to make any statement about that union that is not part of the core religious beliefs. I firmly believe that, but I don't see why that needs to come into, why we need to ban a bunch of things that are basically nothing more than just civil agreements between two people that have nothing to do with anyone else. Um, and when I, I look at my gay friends, whom everybody who knows them agrees that they're perfect for each other and that they stabilize each other, and that people who had struggles before then in living honest lives and good lives, once they've come together, they're just much happier and they're much more whole and much more helpful to everyone around them. Uh, and I see this amendment as just wanting to break that up. And that makes me really sad because it's my, my state of North Carolina that I really love that wants to do that, and that makes me really sad and really kind of angry. I'm going to be voting no on Amendment 1, and I really hope all my friends do as well. Thanks for your time.